All right, we're back at it again with another reaction video. Um, this guy Poncho, the saddest Andrew Tate clown. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. I mean, dude, I'm not gonna lie, man. I look good. I shaved pretty well that morning, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go through this video. This is gonna be funny. It's cool that she's sticking with you right now because you're trying to build yourself. But at the same time, if some guy like me comes up and gets in the way, she's gonna choose me over you. Because Last night I was scrolling on TikTok as one usually does. And I came across this dude. I don't think I've ever seen anybody that wants to be Andrew Tate as bad as this guy. Here's why you gotta break up with your girlfriend if you're not making six figures a year. Three seconds into the video, I already know it's bullshit. Brutal honest truth is that girls need a man who can protect and provide for them. If you're not making at least 10k a month, how the fuck are you gonna protect and provide for your girl? Because you don't need six figures to protect and provide. Bro, people are under this massive impression that you don't need to make six figures to like protect your girl. This is insanity to me how this is the notion of, of our world. But then like people grow up hating rich people and think that rich people are assholes. And it's like, dude, it's just so funny to me. Also, this guy has a John Cena poster in the back. Like, why would you have another man in your bedroom on a poster? I'm like so confused. It's like a paper fucking John Cena thing. Like, what? Bro, I'm just, I'm just dead. Also, he's got all his hair underneath his bottom lip there. You should probably shave that off. But yeah, just giving some, giving some good advice, man. What the fuck? It's cool that she's sticking with you right now because you're trying to build yourself. But at the same time, if some guy like me comes up and gets in the way, she's going to choose me over you because I can provide more. Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay. Well, I guess that just kills my hopes and dreams of uh, keeping my girl whenever he walks around. It doesn't even matter that he looks like a third grader trying to cosplay his top G. I just can't compete. Some guy like me comes up and gets in the way, she's going to choose me over you because I can provide more. In this feast or famine world, women will always pick the best case scenario because they don't want to get hurt. And you being broke as fuck definitely hurts. Fuck! God damn it! Alright, so he already took my girl. Let's just see what else he has to say. Ah! Here is why it's easy for me to take your bitch. Bro, you already did. <laughs> Stop bragging about it. Yes, I'm skinny. But I have decent tone, you know, like I feel good, but- My friend, uh, unfortunately you do not have decent tone. Maybe for like a third grader? Here's the problem. Is that all you got- Bro, this whole angle with the third grader thing is just funny. It's like, I obviously don't look like a third grader. I'm like six foot one and I have facial hair. I don't think third graders would be six foot one with facial hair. It's like, dude, I just love the comments people make because it makes zero sense. Guys that go to the gym, you're taking pre-workout, you got these stupid shaker bottles, making noises. You look like a bunch of fucking idiots. You need to have a high income skill set. And you saying to me that the gym is all that matters to me and it keeps me centralized, it means you have a lack of self-confidence. Yeah, nah, you know what screams lack of self-confidence? Going after people who go to the gym for no fucking reason and saying you need a high skill income set so he just said that completely wrong it's high income skill set that was funny but um dude the point i'm trying to make is that if you can just lift shit and lift shit only you have nothing else to provide value to the world with like what do you what do you bring to the table like i don't know if you look around you at all but the world's pretty fucked up and if you can't provide anything else of value then like you're kind of contributing to why our world is so fucked up like you need to provide more value. You have to be actually intellectually pleasing to people. You have to bring something valuable to the marketplace and help the world. Like you got to be an innovator. You can't just sit there and lift metal all day. That doesn't provide anybody value. Okay, there, there, there's there's machines that can do that. So it's like I, I just don't understand the claim of that. Um, and if you don't agree with what I just said, you're honestly part of the problem. Bro, you need some bitches. You need to stop going to the fucking gym. It does not. Also, you don't need some bitches, okay? Because that brings a ton of drama into your life, okay? If you're just going to be like this dude who scoops up a bunch of women, you're going to have tons of drama, you have tons of trauma, and you're going to be going through this like weird cycle forever and ever and ever, trying to always please the next one. So him saying, oh, you just need to get a bunch of bitches, like, dude, you're, you're contributing to the problem. Like, and the funny part is, is that people that do these YouTube videos and they and they have all this like, you know, attention and whatnot. They make videos about, oh, like I have an ego. Like, bro, if you look in your background, you have an ego too. You have two trophies of YouTube subscriber plaques behind you. Okay, that feeds into the ego of doing what you do every, every, every single day. So it's just hypocritical. Also, you have another man that's in a paper, like paper, whatever you want to call it behind you. Like who would put another man of John Cena behind them? Like who would do that? Like what man can you call yourself? Yeah. Stop going to the 
He has a John Cena poster of the hand like this. And you call yourself a man that you don't even make six figures a year. You need to feel what money feels like. If you have another fucking man behind you as a paper poster. I mean, dude, this is insane to me. It's just hilarious. I, 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 the gym y'all just don't go anymore just <clears throat> let yourself get fat or real skinny also bro what was that bitch ass scream in the beginning ah! that's like me raging at a video game at 12 years old because i was afraid my mom would come down but i'll stop it's funny because the scream in the beginning is called a pattern interrupt okay the same way that you edit your videos the same way that you cut and trim the same way that you zoom in and zoom out and post certain gifs and post certain sounds it's the same thing Okay. Marketers should appreciate other marketers. That's the space that we're in. Okay. Everything that we post, we are selling ourselves at all wavelengths. So for you to say, why would you do the scream in the beginning? It's because it's called the pattern interrupt it gets more views. Hence why I'm going viral and how I've literally just came out of nowhere and I have more views than all of these channels combined right now. It's just hilarious to me. I'll stop. The things I've learned so far from this man are make money. I think let's take you for example and me and we both pull up and we go to your girl odds are I'm gonna take that bitch if you compared me to you you're not gonna win that battle bro I I know why do you have to rub it in my face so the next time you think that your girl's on lock I got the keys to the castle motherfucker <laughs> Crazy part is, is that whole keys to the castle thing is now like almost the number one trending long tailed keyword on Twitter and not a lot of long tail stuff. And if you don't know what long tail means, it just means like a lot of keywords that combine into one. Um, it's like the, one of the most trending things on Twitter right now. It's just funny to me. And also the other po uh, part here is like, <sighs> it's like, dude, it's not only about money. It's about being intellectually high value. Like if you don't bring anything to the world or the marketplace, how are you going to be an innovator? How are you going to help out the world? It's not always about money, but dude, I hate to break it to you, but philanthropy is all derived from capitalistic, you know, tendencies. You can't be a philanthropist with no money. You can't impact the world with no money. You can't help people with no money. Like, I'm sorry to let you know that, but that's not how the world works. I don't know where you came from or what kind of money blocks you grew up with, but you can't help the world without any type of funds wealth or anything then you have to back that up with having good personality having a good you know belief system values ethics etc i'm not saying it's only about money i'm saying that no one's going to pay attention to you unless you can provide leverage and value and you have authority like if you don't understand these things you're you're part of the problem it's just insane to me how people are ignoring what i'm saying just because i'm skinny and i look like i'm younger which i really don't honestly um now you don't want to listen but if it's a big buff guy with big muscles and he looks like he's 30, then we're going to listen. It's like, dude, the perspective of people is completely just swapped. Like everybody who responded to these videos, hypocrite, absolute hypocrite. Because if I gave you $10,000 a month, you'd be happy. But if I gave you zero, you'd be fucking miserable and you'd be homeless. So the whole conversation about this is just downright stupid. It's just funny to me. I just think it's hilarious. So the next time you think your girl's on luck, I have the keys to the castle. You look 12. <laughs> I think this dude's entire outlook on life is money's the only thing that matters. There's nothing else that matters. Your physique doesn't matter. Eating healthy doesn't matter. Being a good person with a good personality doesn't matter. Money is the only Just explained that before, but we're going to keep going. Anything. I wonder what it's like being this dude's friend and like trying to tell him some real shit. It's like, hey, Jason, bro, my dad died. Well, I hate to inform you, you need a high income skill set. You worrying about your dead dad is gonna cause you problems in the liability of your business, and you're gonna end up not making as much money. <laughs> I love money. Money turns me on. And to be honest, man, stop worrying about these girls. Just start making love to the money. It's very optimal, and I love doing it in my free time. Somebody kill me. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if this offends you either. If you are 40 years old, and you have a kid or two, and you are not making enough money to go on vacations when you want and have freedom, you are not a man. It's like, he thinks if you don't make a certain amount of money, then it automatically disqualifies you from being a man. Providing Remember the context of this. I said if you're 40 years old and you have a kid or two and you are married and you can't provide value to your family and you can't provide and protect, how are you going to give your kids the childhood that they want? How are you going to show your, 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 your girl the world? Like, dude, 
these clips get chopped and they completely took out four to five sentences of me explaining the context of what I meant by this. It's like, it's just funny. Like if you watch the whole video, you would understand my point, but you got to chop it up in a short form. So that's the way it's going to be. It's just interesting to me how everybody is ignoring the fact that if you have two kids and you're 40 years old and you don't make money, that you are somehow still high value. How the fuck does that make any sense? Like, how does that even add up? It just doesn't, it just doesn't add up to me. Like, I, I don't know how people are ignoring this. Is part of what makes a man. It's not everything. I'm starting to understand this dude a little bit more. I think that's all he has to offer. I hate to be so obvious, but you can tell this guy's misguided. You can tell he's insecure, which makes him arrogant. And sure, he has money, right? But he's using that as a way to say like, oh, I'm above all you guys and you're not a real man if you don't make six figures a year. I'm sorry to tell you that. Because Dude, you need half a brain and a pulse to make six figures a year. I just, I'm going to keep going behind this topic. Also, this guy only makes his views from talking shit about other people. So you want to tell me that I've been misguided. You were told that making an income online is okay because you're talking shit about other people and you're getting attention. Same thing as CoffeeZilla. Same thing as all these other guys. They talk shit and they get views and monetization from talking crap about other people who are doing more than them and more influential than them. That is literally hypocritical for someone to go on here and be like, oh, you're this, you're that. Like, dude, focus on yourself, get your own skill sets, provide value to the world and be influential. None of the content you post is influential. If anything, it's influential because it gives me more views, gives me more clout and makes me more money, which allows me to be more influential. So you're actually indirectly going against your own point, but we're just gonna keep going. Because you can't support the lifestyle that you want or your family needs. I want to show you behind the scenes of my five figure per month AI agency model. It goes. Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my monitor. I swear. You need to start dropping your ego. This point's stupid. I'm just gonna. Skip. Holy shit! This is dumb. About an ego. The self awareness is at zero. You need to start dropping your ego. And girl. I'd probably find the nearest skyscraper and do a belly flop off of it. Here's why I hate real estate. I'm more about my active income. Real estate's boring. I don't want to buy things that just sit there. That's why I rent my home. I will never buy a house. I think of homes as hospitals. Get in and you get out. I'd rather buy cars. <sighs> wow, this dude is stupid. Holy shit. I'm more about my active income, says every single person who had one year of making six figures and then going broke again. Because that makes literally no sense. Active income when you're young allows you to buy assets. So if you don't have active income, dude, this guy's probably the same age as me. That's completely oh. ass backwards. You don't buy assets until your active income is dialed in. Like that, that makes no sense at all. So for me to want to go splurge and have some fun right now, that's fine because I'm young. I should enjoy my life when I'm young. Same reasons why I'm saying that if you don't make six figures as a man, how are you supposed to have fun and enjoy your youth? Like, dude, it's just very hilarious to me. And this is like, kind of makes me sad because the world is just so fucked and no one wants to talk about it except me, unfortunately. And a couple other people who still get shit. It's crazy. Cars can actually move. You can get in them, have a fucking blast. I'm just not willing to spend half a million, million dollars on some fucking bullshit piece of wood. Yeah, and that bullshit piece of wood is going to continuously generate you more money while that car is going to depreciate. This dude isn't financially literate at all. Why is he trying to tell people how to spend their money or how to live when he's not even spending it wisely? Odds are I'm going to take that bitch. Ooh, Mr. Steal Your Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I recently just went viral for this video. I got so much hate. It's just entertaining. It makes people actually realize, oh shit, am I a high value man or not? I actually make money. And back to the topic of money, this dude loves to judge people based off of their income. When are we going to start judging people based off of their actions and their character? That's the only value. Says the man who makes videos like this. And I got to respond to this bullshit. So when are we going to talk about people's ethics and morals and values? And this man's whole channel is talking shit, making fun of other people. Like, bro, this is just laughable at this point. Just keep giving me views. Please respond to this. Valid reason, in my opinion. I don't think that value is determined just by your income alone. I feel like there's a bunch of different factors. That's just one of them. Running a real business, I don't make money off going viral. We're in the middle of a recession right now, and you're all more focused on if I'm really going to steal your girl, and that triggers you because you have massive amounts of insecurities. Fuck! God damn!
I don't make money off of going viral. I have sex with a dollar bill and it gets pregnant and it makes more dollar bills. That's my business, people. Honestly, bro, he's right. I have a lot of insecurity and I do think he'd steal my girl. Ooh, Mr. Steal Your Bitch. <laughs> Fuck! Pull and me. And we both pull up and we go to your girl. Odds so are you're gonna take that bitch. It's a great photo. I'm on a cruise, I'm chilling. Hey man, I just wanted to come clean about this because I, it's been on my mind ever since I started this video, bro. Uh, please don't take my bitch. If you could just not do that, I would really appreciate it. I don't want to step up to you because you look really intimidating. It's even if you could just not. I love this photo, honestly. This is like one of my favorite photos. I still have that T-shirt. This is when me, Nick, and a bunch of boys from the old Tampa house we went up and drove to New York, and we went in my old Mozzie. So much fun. That was a dope trip. I take mine. I would really appreciate that. In conclusion, this weasel probably gets on his hands and knees every single day to worship Andrew Tate. And I'd argue he's the definition of what it means to be lost in the red pill sauce. If y'all want to see more content, I got it on the screen for you right now. And y'all have a spectacular rest of your night. And then look at this, dude. The pop-up says, does Andrew Tate have cancer? Like, bro, the videos that this guy makes are just insane, dude. Like, you're just talking shit and exploiting people. Like, you don't make money off providing value. No one cares. It's just so insane to me. Just proves my point exactly. But, all right, like, comment, subscribe. Run it up. Peace.